एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट टू चैप्टर फोर क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस सेकेंड एक्सरसाइज स्टार्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट वन फाइंड द रूट्स ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस by factorization method the totally five bits in the solution in the first bit we have it as x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 so now what are the factors of 10 so that we can get 3 as either addition or subtraction of them So you having ten can be written as five into one into ten is equal to ten, and this can be written as five into two. So you're going to get this as x square minus five x plus two x minus ten is equal to zero, which implies that you can write this as x into x minus five plus two into x minus five, which is equal to zero, which implies x minus five into x plus two is equal to zero, so it implies x minus five is equal to zero, x plus two is equal to zero, x is equal to five, x is equal to minus two. Hence the roots of the quadratic equation are, hence the roots of the given quadratic equation r 5n minus 2 now going into the second one 2x square plus x minus 6 is equal to 0 so here we are having that in all the problems now here you can write this as 6 into 2 is 12 which can be written as 3 into 4 Three into four, because you are getting plus x over there. You can write as four into minus three. It is actually minus six into two, which is minus twelve. So it can be written as either four into minus three into minus four or four into minus three. You know that four minus three. Now this year you are having a is equal to two, b is equal to one. If you are comparing with the general form of the equation. That is the general form is a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. You are having a is equal to two, b is equal to one, c is equal to minus. This is zero. So you are comparing with the above equation. So you are going to b is equal to one, which is equal to four minus three. So therefore, now you can write this above equation as two x square plus x minus six is equal to zero. Or in the place of x, we are going to write it as 4x minus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. So 2x common if you take x plus 2 minus 3 if you take x plus 2 here is equal to 0, which implies that x plus 2 into 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, which implies that x plus 2 is equal to 0 and Or 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, which implies that x is equal to minus 2, or x is equal to 3 by 2. Hence, the roots of the given quadratic equation are minus 2 and Three by two. Then the third one. Root two x square plus seven x plus five root two is equal to zero, which implies that we are having here five into five root two into root two is equal to five into two, which is equal to ten. So you can write this as your b can be written as from this you are having a is equal to root two, 
b is equal to 7 c is equal to 5 root 2 we have to get ac this is ac ac is equal to 10 so b is equal to 7 you are having so you are having 5 plus 2 is 7 so in the place of 7 we can write it as 5 plus 2 that is root 2 x square plus 5 x plus 2 x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 now common from this so you will get it as root 2 x plus 5 here you can take out what common you can take out root 2 x root 2 common so you will get root 2 into root 2 is 2 plus 5 which is equal to 0 5 root 2 so here you are having common root 2 x plus 5 into x plus root 2 is equal to 0 these are all implied and implied by so now we are getting here 2x root 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 or x plus root 2 is equal to 0 from this you can get x is equal to minus 5 by root 2 or x is equal to minus root 2 hence the roots of the given quadratic equation quadratic equation are minus 5 by root 2 and minus root what's the fourth one we'll see 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8 is equal to 0 so here you can take lcm over here lcm is 8 so you're getting 16x square minus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0 or it can be written as 16x square minus 8x plus 1 8 into 0 is nothing but 0 so now you can write here 16 ac is equal to here from this you are having a is equal to 16 b is equal to minus 8 c is equal to 1 so you can write 16 as AC is equal to 16 which can be written as minus 4 into minus 4 and B is equal to minus 8 means minus 4 plus of minus 4 is nothing but minus 8. So minus 8 place you can write down what is in the place of minus 8 you can write it as minus 4 and minus 4. So here you are getting it as 16x square minus 4x minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. So from these two you can take out 4x common. So you are going to get it as 4x minus 1. From this you are taking it minus 1 common. So you are getting it as minus 1 into 4x will give you minus 4x. And minus 1 into minus 1 will give you plus 1. So now what is common in both of them? 4x minus 1 into 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. So here you are having x is equal to 1 by 4 x is equal to 1 by 4 4 x minus 1 is equal to 0 whole square so you are getting 2 times or x is equal to 1 by 4 or x is equal to 1 by 4 so the repeat this root is this root is repeated twice Hence, both the roots of the given quadratic equation equation are 1 by 4. So, the fifth bit in this is 100x square minus 20x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, you are having here A is equal to 100 b is equal to minus 20 c is equal to 1 so ac is equal to 100 into 1 which is 100 so which can be written as 10 into 10 or minus 10 into minus 10 so b is equal to minus 10 minus 10 which is equal to minus 20 so you can write here 100 x square minus 10 x 
minus 10x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, in the first two terms, you can write 10x common. So, you are getting 10x minus 1 minus 1 into 10x minus 1 equal to 0 which implies that 10x minus 1 into 10x minus 1 equal to 0 which implies 10x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0 which implies that 10x minus 1 is equal to 0 which implies x is equal to 1 by 10 so this root is repeated twice Hence, both the roots of the given quadratic equation are 1 by you are having two bits in question 2. The first one is John and Jivanti together have 45 marbles. Both of them lost 5 marbles each. And the product of the number of marbles they have they now have is 124 we would like to find out how many marbles they had to start with solution for the first bit according to the given question John and Jivanti together had 45 marbles so both of them lost both of them lost 5 marbles each and the product of the number of marbles they now have is 124 so here we will just write down let the number of marbles John had is equal to x then the number of marbles Jivanti had is equal to 45 minus x because both of them together had 45 marbles so therefore if one had x the other will have 45 minus x also from the question you have that the product they lost 5 marbles each so 45 minus x minus 5 is equal to then the product of after they losing 5 marbles is equal to nothing but 124 now we'll do cross multi we'll do this uh, multiplication over here so you'll get it as x minus 5 into 40 minus x is equal to 124 which implies that 40x minus x square minus 200 plus 5x is equal to 124 which implies that 40x and 5x is 45x minus x square minus 200 minus 124 is equal to 0 which implies that you are having minus x square plus 45x minus 324 is equal to 0 or you can write this as which implies that you are taking a minus sign throughout so you are getting this as x square minus 45x plus 324 is equal to 0. Now here what are the factors of 324? You are getting it as 36 into 
9. So therefore this is equal to you getting it as x square in the place of 45 you can write it as minus 36x minus 9x plus 324 is equal to 0 which implies that you can take out x common in this x into x minus 36 minus 9 into x minus 36 is equal to 0 which implies that x minus 36 into x minus 9 is equal to 0 which implies that x minus 36 is equal to 0 x minus 9 is equal to 0 which implies that x is equal to 36 and x is equal to 9 or I am sorry here or we are having or x is equal to 9 so hence the number of marbles John had is equal to hence the number of the number of marbles John had is equal to x which is equal to 36 and the number of marbles and the number of marbles Jivanti had is equal to 45 minus 36 which is equal to 9 so now going into the next problem that is the second one a cottage industry produces certain number of toys in a day the cost of production of each toy in rupees was found to be 55 minus the number of articles produced in a day on a particular day on a particular day the total cost of production was was rupees 750 we would like to find out the number of toys produced on that day solution so let the number of toys produced on that day is equal to x and the cost of production is equal to 55 minus x because it is found that the cost of production of each toy in rupees is found to be 25 minus the number of articles produced in that day so now according to the given question x into 55 minus x is equal to 750 which implies that 55x minus x square minus 750 is equal to 0 so which implies that you are going to get it as x square if you bring all positive plus 55 I am sorry minus 55x plus 750 is equal to 0
now the factors of 750 are 30 into 25 30 plus 25 is 55 so here you are going to get it as x square minus 30x minus 25x plus 750 is equal to 0 so now here if you take out x common you get it as x minus 30 minus 25 into x minus 30 which is equal to 0 so which implies x minus 30 into x minus 25 is equal to 0 which implies that x minus 3 is equal to 0 x minus 25 is equal to 0 x is equal to 3 x is equal to 25 so hence the number of toys produced Question 3. Find the two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182. So, so let the first number be x so that the second number is equal to 27 minus x. Let the first number be x, so the second number is equal to 27 minus x. According to the question, what do we have? We have that the product of these two numbers is nothing but equal to 182. So x into 27 minus x is equal to 182, which implies we get it as 27x minus x square is equal to 182 which implies that minus x square plus 27x minus 182 is equal to 0 which implies x square minus 27x plus 182 is equal to zero. the factors of 182 such that the sum of them should be equal to 27 so minus 13 into minus 14 is nothing but plus 182 and you are getting minus 13 plus of minus 14 is equal to minus 27 so therefore you can write it as equal to x square minus 14x minus 13x plus 182 is equal to 0 which implies if you take out x common from the first two minus 13 common from the next two which is equal to 0 so you're getting it as x minus 14 is common in both of them into x minus 13 is equal to 0 which implies x minus 14 is equal to 0 or x minus 13 is equal to 0 which implies x is equal to 14 or x is equal to 13 so if x is equal to 14 then other number is equal to 27 minus x which is equal to 27 minus 14 which is equal to 13 if x is equal to 13 then the other number is equal to 27 minus x which is equal to 27 minus 13 which is equal to 14 hence the required two numbers are 13 and 14 find two consecutive positive integers sum of whose square is 
365 so therefore solution solution let the first integer be x so other positive integer is equal to x plus 1 according to the question x square plus the sum of squares of these two integers is equal to 365 so you're getting this implies that x square plus x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 365 or you get it as 2x square plus 2x plus 1 minus 365 is equal to 0 which implies that 2x square plus 2x minus 264 is equal to 0 which implies dividing throughout by 2 you are getting it as 1 to 1 is 2 I am sorry 364 2 1 is 2 8 is 16 2 2 is so now we have to find out the factors of 182 such that the sum should be equal to 1 so 14 into minus 13 will give you minus 182 or x is equal to 1x is equal to 14x minus 13x so in the place of x we will write this so which is equal to x square plus 14x minus 13x minus 182 is equal to 0 which implies if you take out x common x into x plus 14 minus 13 into x plus 14 is equal to 0 which implies that x minus 13 into x plus 14 is equal to 0 which implies x minus 13 is equal to 0 or x plus 14 is equal to 0 which implies x is equal to 13 or x is equal to minus 14 so hence here x is equal to minus 14 does not exist as the two consecutive integers are positive integers are positive therefore required positive integers are x is equal to 13 and x plus 1 is equal to 13 plus 1 which is equal to 14 5 the altitude of a right triangle is 7 centimeters less than its base if the hypotenuse is 13 centimeters find the other two sides so now here theorem according to Pythagoras theorem we have AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square which implies that 13 square is equal to X minus 7 whole square plus X square which implies 169 is equal to x square plus 49 minus 14x plus x square which implies 169 is equal to 2x square minus 14x plus 49 which implies 2x square minus 14x minus it is plus 49 minus 169 is equal to 0 which implies that 2x square minus 14x minus 
120 is equal to 0 which implies that x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0 2 dividing by 2 we get the step so which implies that now the factors of 60 are 12 minus 60 is minus 12 into 5 is 60 and minus 7 can be written as minus 12 plus 5 so in the place of minus 7 we are going to write this so which is equal to x square minus 12x plus 5x minus 60 is equal to 0 which implies x into x minus 12 plus 5 into x minus 12 which is equal to 0 so which implies x minus 12 is common so x minus 12 into x plus 5 which is equal to 0 which implies that x minus 12 is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0 which implies that x is equal to 12 or x is equal to minus 5 we cannot take this negative value since the side of the triangle cannot be negative is never negative so we have x is equal to 12 so now the required sides of the triangle are AD is equal AB is equal to AB is equal to x minus 7 which is equal to 12 minus 7 which is equal to 5 centimeters and we have BC is equal to x which is equal to 12 centimeters now fix a cottage industry produces a certain number of pottery articles in a day it was observed on a particular day that the cost of production of each article in rupees was three more than twice the number of articles produced on that day if the total cost of production on that day was rupees 90 find the number of articles produced and the cost of each article so now it's so a solution so we will take here what we have to find out the number of articles produced in the cost of each article so let the number of articles produced b x therefore the cost of production of each article in rupees on that 
particular day is equal to rupees 2x plus 3 so the total cost of production that day is equal to rupees x into 2x plus 3 so according to the question x into 2x plus 3 is equal to 90 which implies that 2x square plus 3x is equal to 90 which implies 2x square plus 3x minus 90 is equal to 0 so which implies now we having 90 factors are minus 90 is plus 15 into minus 12 is nothing but minus 19 and this you also have 3 is equal to 15 minus 12 so in the place of 3 we can write this so which implies that 2x square plus 15x minus 12x minus 90 is equal to 0 which implies if you take out x common you will get it as 2x plus 15 minus if you take out 6 common here you will get 6 2s are 12 2x plus 15 is equal to 0 so you can write this as x minus 6 into 2x plus 15 is equal to 0 which implies that x is e x minus 6 is equal to 0 or 2x plus 15 is equal to 0 so which implies x is equal to 6 or x is equal to minus 15 by 2 since x is equal to minus 15 by 2 is not possible because we have taken the number of art articles produced are x so there are some articles which are produced so you cannot have a negative value is not possible so therefore so x is equal to 6 hence the number of articles the number of articles produced the x is equal to 6 and cost of production of each article is equal to rupees 2x plus 3 so which is equal to rupees 2 into 6 plus 3 which is equal to rupees 15 1 5 6 plus 3 which is equal to is 15.